Now, today we are making contact with Canadian astronaut Bob Thirsk on the International Space Station. Until now, there have only been three astronauts aboard the International Space Station. So Bob is part of a team who have uh, broken through new, new ground. Little information about the International Space Station. The Space Station is about the size of a Canadian football field and is due to be completed in 2010 after 50 missions to assemble it. NASS NA1SS. This is VA3MG1 for a contact with the scouts over. This is NA1FF. How do you read? It's wonderful as always to hear your voice, Dr. Thirst. It's Lori McFarland speaking, and here's our first question. Hi, my name is Nathan. Can plants grow in space? Over. Craig, what is it like being in space and weightless? Over. Hi, Craig. I'm going to ask my colleague, Guy La Liberté, who just arrived on the space station, to answer that very good question. Stand by. Hi, Craig. Uh, being in space is an amazing experience. I wish that every human being will be able to uh, experience such a thing. In regard to weightlessness, uh, this is a quite challenging when first you arrive like me and me here in space for the last three days only so this is uh, an adaptation time but looking at my fellow cosmonauts and astronauts it looks like an easy task after a couple months over hi my name is clay what is your job in the on the space station over hi clay this is bob uh, my job is a flight engineer that means that i do scientific research i do repair work on the space station experiments and systems and a little bit of assembly work. Over. Hi, my name is Simon. How do you sleep in space without, without floating around? Over. Hi, Simon. We do one of two things. We either get in a sleeping bag and strap ourselves to the wall or the ceiling, or if we decide to free float, we'll tether ourselves so that we don't float away. Over. Dr. Thirst, it has been an absolute pleasure. Um, we have one last question, um, and I'd like to say it's been wonderful speaking to so many astronauts. I'm going to ask this question on behalf of Owen. Question 18, when you are not working, do you play chess or cards? And if so, how do you keep everything from floating around? Over. Hi, uh, Laurie on uh, behalf of Owen. Uh, yeah, we do play uh, cards or chess. Uh, we have to use uh, magnetic cards, magnetic uh, chess pieces, and, and that works. But our favorite activity, of course, is looking out the window. Over. Hi, Bob. Steve here, VE3 TBD. Just want to, since we had time, mention that uh, thank you so much for what you're doing for the program. We're all enjoying it here, and uh, we wish you well. And uh, we'll be talking to you very soon in the next few days. And just one other little thing. Thank you, Dr. Thirsk. And from everybody else. Thank you.